we're talking about the risks of court packing. And First Liberty is the leader in fighting this. But why do we need to worry about this? Well, our judiciary from the very beginning was supposed to be and intended to be um, the, the, the non-political branch of the three branches of government. Right. You elect your executive, you elect your legislature, your Supreme Court, your federal judges all the way down are appointed, and they're appointed for life for a reason. Um, they should not be subject to the political whims of the populace. Their job is to interpret the Constitution, and when necessary, if if a if the political will of the nation conflicts with that Constitution, it's their job to say no. And then you know there are uh, measures that people can can take. You know they can amend the Constitution if they need be. We have you know many times. Well, if we allowed court packing, think about this. So Trump comes in and decides, well, the court's not siding with me, so he adds four justices, and and then he he'd have it. And then Biden comes in. Where, where would that end? Well, we would have Supreme Court arguments in a football stadium somewhere eventually because there would be that many judges on the court. Because, you know, if one side does it, the other side will respond. I mean, that's human nature, right? And that's why I say it was never intended to be uh, the political branch of the, of the three branches of government. It's, um, if you politicize it to that point, um, then the rights that, that they are empowered to protect also become subject to the political back and forth. And whoever controls the court can control what rights are going to be valued and protected by that court and which ones aren't. So now they're beholden to the Constitution, then they'll be beholden to the politicians. Correct. Right. Well, First Liberty, you, you all argue cases before the Supreme Court. You win cases at the Supreme Court. Thank you. Uh, what, what would happen if, if um, you know, I, I know how you prepare. You prepare by looking at this document and you say that we're, we're going to address that. What would you prepare for if, if it was politicized? Well, I mean, you would have to evaluate who is currently in control of the Supreme Court, you know, which political ideology is dominant in the day because that political party would likely have uh, a majority installed on that court um, in favor of their political ide ideology or their political agenda. Um, I mean, the, the last time it was tried was FDR in 1937, and it was specifically because the Supreme Court had ruled against him on a few issues in the New Deal, and he wanted to install judges who would rule for him on the New Deal program. So it makes sense why we have uh, nine justices. It's a, it's a decent number. It's an odd number, so you can get five, four rulings. Uh, but who's pushing to add to the court? Well, President Biden has established a, ju a judicial reform commission, and one of the ideas that they are uh, studying is adding justices to the Supreme Court um, and possibly adding judges to other courts, um, at the lower courts, the uh, U.S. Courts of Appeal, and even creating new district courts. So it's currently you know, being uh, proposed anyway uh, to be studied by the Biden administration. Uh, they've this commission has solicited uh, public feedback, and we provided quite a bit uh, from, from well, First explain Liberty. Explain that. What did you do? Um, we put a, a petition uh, available on our website that people could sign on uh, to express their opposition to the idea of court packing, and we collected over 400,000 signatures from around the country and submitted that as part of the public comment wow. to uh, President Biden's commission. Wow, that's a lot of signatures. I mean, most people have never even heard the term. Uh, but you got nearly half a million people to sign something. Wow. Yeah, and I think it, it goes to show that when people are educated about it and they understand what it is and what's at stake, their knee-jerk reaction is in opposition to it, um, which is similar to the last time it was tried. You know, 1937, when FDR tried it, he faced stiff opposition from within his own party and the Republican Party and independents and moderates, you know, all around the country, which is why the idea died.